In this video will be a tutorial on the measures of central tendency. They are the median, the mode, the mid-range, and the mean. First we will talk about what each one is and how to compute them manually and with Excel. Then we will talk about the strengths and weaknesses of each and decide which to use given the circumstance. We will start with the median. What is the median? By definition, it's the midpoint of the data array. What does that mean? Let's look at an example. Here we have a data set 12, 24, and 39. We have three terms. Therefore, the middle term is going to be the second term. Here is 24. Therefore, the median is 24. So another data set, 12, 39, 24. In this case, we also say the median is 24 because the first step in finding the median is to sort them numerically. So here we re would rearrange the set to be 12, 24, 39. Thus, the second term would be 24. What do we do in this circumstance? Here we have the data set 12, 24, 39, and 45. Since we have four data points, the midpoint of the data array would be somewhere between that 24 value and the 39. Therefore, to find the median, we take that average value. We take the 24 plus 39 and divide by 2. It gives us 31.5. Therefore, our median is 31.5. Next, we're going to talk about the mode. What is the mode? The mode is the value that occurs most often. 